Hi there. Let's talk about some things that start with the letter R. Railroads, redskins, rodeos, replacements, and especially racism. That's the big one. Racism, it's real, it's ugly, and we can never completely eradicate it. Still, there's only one immensely important human color, red. We all bleed red. So let's talk about people with red skins, the native, the indigenous, the first immigrants whose ancestors came to America from Eurasia. They crossed the land bridge that sank after the glaciers melted and the oceans rose. <laughs> At least that's the theory. The proof is gone. The post-its marking the route are all underwater. 10,000 years later, children played cowboys and Indians, even though Columbus didn't find India. So the first Americans are neither Indians, nor do they have red skin. No one in the world has red skin, except after getting a sunburn. By the way, we once learned that there were seven continents. Now, there are only six or even five, as North and South America are connected. Just look at the map. Ideas are hard to change. Some blame Columbus for both ending the indigenous Americans' way of life and the evil of slavery. He wrote that many of the natives would have made good servants and sent hundreds back to Spain. But, and there's always a but, he also wrote of native tribal wars and cannibalism. The way of life he found was not so idyllic. Native Americans have been fighting for and with the Europeans, the Spanish, the French, the English, and the Colonials, a fight that was clearly hopeless after the War of 1812. Redskin once meant the over 500 tribes in the New World. Now, some say the word Redskins is derogatory, so the Washington Redskins football team is looking for a new name. Baseball's Cleveland Indians have become the Guardians. I don't know why. <sighs> What's going to happen to any Braves or Warriors? Who knows? Indigenous Peoples Day now sometimes replaces Columbus Day. Now, this may be a kind of America and its heroes are badly flawed. Things named after Columbus are being renamed. So what about the District of Columbia, the university, the river, or the nation? Our Columbus Day video will have more. Another, by the way, it seems we are again dividing by color. Juneteenth is a black alternative to Independence Day. Kwanzaa, invented in 1966, is a black alternative to Christmas. Lift every voice and sing the Black National Anthem. George Floyd's statues go up as Columbus's come down. Only black lives matter, not blue, white, or even all lives. Is the new segregation really bringing us together? Let's go back to red lives. An earlier video had the Lenny Lenape losing much of their land to William Penn's sons before sadly losing it all. Other tribes suffered greater losses. Beginning in the 1830s, some 100,000 Cherokee, Creek, Chickasaw, Choctaw, Seminole, and more began to be brutally relocated to reservations west of the Mississippi River. Their journey to the Great Plains is remembered as the Trail of Tears. The Civil War's end saw millions of soldiers trained in the use of firearms. Many traveled to the Great Plains as settlers, hunters, and even tourists on the new transcontinental railroad. Rifles could kill a buffalo from 300 yards away and not disturb the herd. One rifleman could kill 
250 buffalo in a day. The hides were sent to tanneries. Tongues became delicacies. The bodies were left to rot. The Plains nations depended on the buffalo for life. The U.S. government had General Phil Sheridan oversee the slaughter of millions of buffalo to force the indigenous onto reservations. By 1884, buffalo were almost extinct. 50 to 60 million of them had been slaughtered. Sad. No, terrible. Oh, God. Let's go back to Christopher Columbus. He brought the first cattle here in 1493. By the 1800s, millions of Texas longhorns roamed free. Cowboys drove the cattle a thousand miles north to the Transcontinental Railroad for shipment to market. Hollywood made cowboys into the great American legend with Stagecoach, High Noon, and Shane, modern movies like Unforgiven, and more. Someday John Wayne will be forgotten, yet those western cattle drives will never be even though the open range ended by the 1890s. The drives lasted only about 40 years. But, and here's another but, though we do love a good Western, many portray the Indian as savage. What ended the cattle drives? Homesteaders didn't want the herds ravaging their crops. Threats were made, laws were passed, and barbed wire fences went up. Such a simple thing, barbed wire, but it tamed the open spaces where the indigenous, their horses, and the buffalo once roamed. <laughs> oh yes, and more railroads were built, thousands and thousands of miles of track. Sadly, even after the open range was closed and most of the indigenous people had been forced onto reservations, treaties were ignored. Gold was discovered in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Indigenous Americans still cry about the 1890 massacre of the Lakota at Wounded Knee. It remains a revered symbol of colonial repression and native resistance. But, and here's a last but, some 50 years after the massacre, members of many native nations played a unique role in helping United States forces during World War II. They are remembered as the code talkers. God bless them. The story of America has people who were colorblind and people who were racist. We want more of the first and less of the second. So here's a simple, powerful fact to help us get there. We all bleed red. That makes red the most important human color. Period. Red. The blood that flows through your veins, everybody's veins, is red. And when you need blood, you don't ask about the color of the donor's skin. You know I'm right. I am Mike for the Be More Better team. Thanks for watching, liking, and especially for subscribing. Now, if you agree with us about the color red, Tell others why it's so important, why it doesn't matter squat about what shade someone, anyone, tans. Please. And now a shout out to Tony, who reminded me of Maya Angelou's words. Do the best you can until you know better. Then, when you know better, do better. Great words. God bless America, its peoples, and its warriors, and God bless all who live on this wonderful planet. Until the next time, bye now. Thank you.